our point. This is where we left off last time. We finished these worlds over here. Uh, we just barely unlocked the hovercraft. And now we're able to go this way. I'm wondering whether I want to go here or the one above. Oh snap. Freaking control yourself. Mechanos. Go there. Oh my god, yes, I remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. Fireball. Yeah, I do remember a hovercraft. I don't remember how it controlled though. Oh dang, look at this owl. Why is an owl being an ass over here? And you can't even hit him, he's in the background. Like, you can't even touch him. You just gotta worry about the fireballs. Man, this music though. Yes. game is so nostalgic to me. Like, I remember this level like crazy. Like, easy. Remember it. You were younger playing on my phone or my dad's phone. Oh my god. That <laughs> makes me feel so damn old. You playing San Andreas when you were younger. On your phone. <laughs> or on your dad's phone. It's like, I played it on PS2. I remember getting it at launch day. And did I ever tell you the the story of how I got it or when I got it? When my mom was in was uh the real homie, the real G. I don't know if I if I said that. I, I'm pretty sure I said it on the stream, but I don't know if you were here for that story. Let me know if the audio is okay, by the way. Yeah, so long story short, oh crap. Long story short, I was on a field trip checking out a college campus while I was in high school. AKA, that's how the, my age was. And then, uh, but yeah, then I couldn't get it because it was that release night. But my mom was the homie and he ended up going and waiting and getting it for me. Like, damn. One of the most sought after games. Oh crap, could have gone that way. Dang, hold on. Oh, crap. Hey, Tamar! Thank you so much for the 69 awesome, delicious biddies. The monkey biddies. How you doing, man? Oh, crap. What's your history with Donkey Kong, by the way, Tamar? Jump man? You mean Mario? <laughs> Not a lot of people know about that. Pretty cool. Yeah, I remember when I first played uh, San Andreas. Ah, oh, crap! I could have gone that way again. Uh, I knew what the stuff meant, of course, but it was like. At that time, that was kind of a pretty detailed game. Like, it, the graphics and everything were pretty darn good on that. I was running on the PS2 in 2004. I still remember the year, too. I was like, dang, it looks awesome. And then when you go pick up... <laughs> no! God damn it. 
a girl of the streets. And then, oh, what is it? They go into an alleyway and then like the car shakes. It's like, whoa, crazy. Next time you saw anything DK related with Smash Brothers, Donald Mario. Mario Party, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, you. The darn shield that he has knocks me over. Yeah, I think in a way, tomorrow, I feel like uh, Donkey Kong is pretty underrated. I feel like it's a great platformer. I mean, I know it's not like up to the standards of like Mario, but I think it's great in its own right. Get this damn DK going. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do this for a second. Trigger my hair twice. Has <laughs> to see a new DK game like what they did with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Well, they have been. They released Tropical Freeze. Right here, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and it was Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii U. And then they re-released. Wait, no, they didn't re-release that. One. And then Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. The switch. Well, it was for the Wii U initially, and then they re released it on Switch. Fantastic game. Oh my god. Same freaking shield. My friends played. Made five. Five? Okay. And she was little and thought that. Want to have a good time? Man, being friends, and she took her to a bowling alley. <laughs> It's funny that you can actually do that. You can take them to different things like that. That's funny. All right. I better start actually doing good right now because we're still on our first level. It's okay. I don't think they actually went in. Oh. <laughs> Worst bonus ever. How would they do that? Okay, we're still gonna get that DK coin. That's the main thing. We're gonna get that DK coin. Jesus, why is it so hard? Ask for money tonight and just meant like more money, more time. Bowl. <laughs> That's good. Oh my freaking god. That's it. I'm done. I'm not gonna get that coin. It's already cost me too many lives. Thank you. 
be all I had to do was just not worry about that dang thing I'm gonna be <laughs> That's funny though. Ooh, bazooka. What does he want? Morning, Dixie. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
give me all my rewards. Look at that. Oof. Ripsaw Rage. Oh, okay. This is one of the levels that I do remember quite, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> can get a little frustrating, but I do remember this level. You could probably play as well. collection come out because I, I always am curious as to how long it takes for developers to release like between games that always interests me oh crap oh wait I could have gone that way I think. oh that was just for bonus Who saw the tree like straight up down the middle from below? Dang. I know, huh? God, where's the realism? Oh crap. Imagine you're chopping a giant tree like this from like the way they are, and it just splits in two. Not very efficient, is it? This one you have to actually throw the damn thing. I was just trying to touch it. favorite soundtracks in general throughout the series. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, it stops there. I guess we're going this way. Oh, they... Yeah, Donkey Kong music's... I remember playing them. Flash game websites. I remember flash game websites like love those. Hey immigrant, what's up man? For present cell, this is uh the person that we raided a lot yesterday after stream. I'm doing pretty good, just barely started not even like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago maybe. We're going through I think the we barely got our hovercraft in this one and so we're continuing now. So not too deep into the game. But yeah, I'm enjoying it, man. Just the music and everything about the Donkey Kong series. Oh crap, I got it back in here. Look at her just chilling with the birds. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I, I want to finish the game today. I'm pretty sure I can, but it's up to me if I feel like I want to stream the entire time. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I can, though. Oh, this guy just didn't keep firing. Oh, perfect. I got this guy. Dude, yeah. The entire time I'm playing it, like, I'm just... Vibing out to the music. So good. Let's see. I wonder if I could turn into a spider. Again. I think I remember this guy he could have let. I think I remember this series more fondly than I mean Donkey Kong Country 3 more fondly than two in terms of stage like the stages and the music and stuff particularly because i think i just played a lot more of it to be honest. Uh, i thought i tried to duck in there i don't know how the hell i got that but yeah i think i remember playing this a lot more with um I guess it was technically my cousins. But yeah, I remember playing this quite a lot with them. Oh shoot. And I think I don't know if it was the only one that they had or something, but we I remember just playing a lot of three, more so than two. On my own personal time at home, I played two. How's this? What does that do? That turned this into TNT? I don't remember- oh, I just threw bombs here. I did not remember how short, I guess, Donkey Kong Country 1 was. But then again, I sh probably should've figured it out since Tropical Freeze was the newest entry, and it was also kind of just not that long. I wish it was longer. somebody knocking on me. Yeah, like for other uh, platformers or overworld games like, you know, Mario, Super Mario World, they definitely have a lot more content. I'm not sure exactly. If I, I didn't know if it was just me just trying to remember and thinking that they were short or whatever. But yeah, it, it replaying them, I definitely feel that way. It's still great though. I just wish they were longer. Too long ago we revisited um what was it super metroid and man that, that's one of my favorite games ever so revisiting that was a big treat man and for the most part i remember where a good chunk of things were yeah super metroid is amazing 
I was like, I would stop stream, not stream like, you know, entirely, but I would be like, just leaving it on a certain level and just being like, listen to this music. <laughs> if you really dig the Donkey Kong soundtracks, this guy on YouTube has amazing covers of some of the, ooh, all right. I'm gonna definitely check that out. David Wise hot head All right, I'm gonna leave it on my phone and I'll make sure I listen to it later. Thanks, man, I appreciate that. Yeah, I just love listening to uh, SNES soundtracks. They really had to do a lot to, um, you know, convey an emotion, basically, for their games. Like through their soundtrack, they, they had little to work with. Compared to nowadays, you know. And I feel like the music is just... It hits the tone perfectly, because that's exactly that they had to do. They had to do that. Never finished it, though, but I'm definitely to go through it. What, Super Metroid? You never finished it? Oh, no. The escape theme though at the very end come on low g labyrinth oh god stuff that messes around with gravity i guess this is not too bad the thing i hated a lot about donkey kong country 2 was the uh the wind levels damn i hated those so much but they mess around with your platforming timing and stuff and they happen so suddenly too so you just don't know when it's gonna happen I died so many times on this. I really hope there's no... Oh crap. I really hope there's no wind levels in this one. So you're playing through Donkey Kong Country 2 right now. Do you play it like regularly or when was the last time that you had played through Donkey Kong SNES before your current playthrough? Because for me it had been about a couple years. A good couple years. Like when I say a couple years I think like 10? Maybe more-ish? I don't know. And I, yeah, I was wondering if you did remember because I didn't remember those wind levels all too much. I remember the one that lifted you... The one that lifted you vertically, like when you jump up and down. I did not remember the ones that move you side to side. And yeah, those are annoying. The slowness. It's low gravity. Called low G. Oh, I don't have my, uh... Ooh, I can drop barrels. The anxiety. Oh no! Move the barrel. Ah. That didn't even work. Dang. I hadn't played through it in years and last night. Just wanted something to. Yeah. It's kind of how I was. I usually play through a backlog of games. Lately, I've been going through games like Ghost of Tsushima was the last one. And then I. Well, I did Star Wars after that. Did I fall in order? Oh! Yes. And then, um. What else did I play? Recently I had been playing games like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I did, um, there's a lot of big titles. Sekiro. A lot through my backlog. And Hades, and Hades is fun. That's just a, a reoccurring game. But now I wanted just a chill game where I can just, not shut off my brain, you know, but like, in a way, yes. Just not even think about a story. Not even think about the story of a game. Just play through something platformer you know just have chill vibes chill music on ready spaghetti does it have epic music oh it did it actually did have music that was fantastic wasn't it dang i remember because i was in the stream uh let's see but the memories of the levels are burnt into your brain fallen order dude fallen order was pretty darn great
But yeah, there was a good chunk of games that I hadn't gotten around to, so it was kind of good to knock out a lot of them for my backlog. I was due for sure to do. And there's a couple of games I want to play off stream too, like I think Watch Dogs 2 want to play off stream. Oh, I, that's actually a series that I was always curious about, but I never got into. Like, I never actually like made the jump, I guess. Get started. Oh. I turn into this. Ah, oh, bastard. Does it respawn? Dang, I only had one shot. Oh my god, Persona, yes. Are you gonna play that? Cause I am gonna be all in. I will totally just end stream and just go watch you play Persona. God, I love Persona 5. And it's, it's a long game, but man. What do you mean, heck no? Are you saying no to greatness? Cause that game is amazing. Immigrant, have you played Persona 5? Or any person I've I've seen through all the gameplay of Persona 3, and I played through all of Persona 5. Persona 4 Golden. There's always an issue that happens with my Vita every time I try to jump into it. So I haven't actually gotten around longer than a couple hours, unfortunately. And I'm so addicted to all of it though. Or you're not home. Okay. But yeah, the Persona series. Good God. Talk about amazing music. Oh, dang. Yeah, Persona's fantastic. I try not to push it too much onto people. But I mean, it's a game that should be played. Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot you had to use this thing as platforms. <laughs> I know, I kind of did. Hey, that was a fantastic deal. What'd you get it for? 10 bucks? Persona 5 or something for like 10 bucks? I don't even know. I forgot how much it was you got it for. It was a deal that just couldn't be passed, like for reals. You should thank me. <laughs> Once you play it, you're going to be like, damn, I should have played this earlier. I mean, that's actually a really good deal. I'm about to spend 120 on two games because I'm going to buy 3D All-Stars and then I'm going to buy Monster Hunter Rise for Switch. This thing died already. Oh, look at that guy. He has shades. Dead. He's died. No? Long 
to win, yes. Do not compute. Next time we meet, Chaos will win. Hell yeah. Oh, we gotta take that to fun. I think. You thought you had to play the other games first? Oh yeah, Until Dawn, you gotta play that one. That is going to be a hell of a fun thing to watch you play. I will definitely try to watch like everything you do. Like, I don't know how long you want your streams to be, but if you're addicted to it and you play like a good three to four hours, you could probably finish that game in about three streams. Hello native, good sir, how are you doing? Top to code. Blues Beach Hut. Play long hours? Perfect. Hello there, kitty. How are you? The name's Blue. P -p -p Pleased to meet you. You wouldn't have brought. Oh, I can see you have it. Never mind. It doesn't want to tell me. Secrets. See if I can remember God. Memory God. Oh, first try, I nailed it. Yeah, no, it'll be good. The good thing about that game is that it's pretty easy to tell how much time you have left. Because eventually it's gonna be like. Seven hours until dawn. Six hours until dawn. Like after you complete, I guess, like a certain chapter. So you, you can kind of get an understanding of how much time you Water levels, who? No one really likes water levels, do they? I mean, ice levels is a different story. I can tolerate ice levels. There's some ice levels that are even cool. But water levels, I don't know. There is one game, I can't remember what it is. It actually did it pretty well. Dang. Try again. <gasps> Man. Wait. Oh, it's right there. Darn coin. Try one more time. I don't do it. I'm out of here. promo email from the library about job opening playing like a few weeks oh that'd be kind of interesting did you do it just because uh you wanted like some sort of income or do you actually feel like that's something that interests you or that you think you would enjoy i think that sounds kind of interesting Still about to be the silence god over here. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, uh, did I literally just go backwards? Did I go to the start of the level? Jesus. I did, huh? Thank you. 
Yeah, I had to go this way. Hmm. <laughs> it's like a play here, but not you. They got her application, they're like, Yeah, we still need somebody. <laughs> no, not like this. If only there was somebody who would show interest in the position. If only. Ah, crap. He's too thick. He got hurt. Damn it. I'm tempted, but I'm like, nah. The thing I like about Donkey Kong games is that there's so many secrets to find. For better or for worse. Dang, I don't know if I should have gotten this guy. I feel like it's gonna mess me up. Well, if I get a barrel, I should be I'm not doing that. Bastard over here trying to. Oh, he does it when he gets close to fish. You're messing me up. Applied, he didn't get a confirmation email after he kept waiting. He sent an email asking if they had received it, and they didn't. They told me to reapply. <laughs> Anyone, please accept presents. Please. Doesn't she get the hint? You replied and got a confirmation. You got to send a follow up email saying that you did. Oh no. For like any any other takers, please. <laughs> Isn't there a banana here? See this level and stuff I do remember quite fondly as well. And shoots you up. Oh crap. Yeah. Now you're too scared to send another email because then what if they're like, dang, why didn't she contact the senior? Yeah. That anxiety that you're feeling right now, it's like... Like you want to follow up, but it's like, dang. Technically, your fault. It's like them, their fault for like not having a good system to check stuff. You know, like they should be able to receive their things without, you know, somebody reminding them about it. Um, time. Fantastic music this game has. I tell you what. Do it. 
Yeah, you should do it. No. Randy, when I saw, what was it, Killjoy playing some Super Mario 3D All-Stars, that's making me really tempted to try to download it. I think most likely I'm going to get it, like, in the next 24 hours. <laughs> Why am I like this? I'll have to play? Well, play what? Depends. Mario Kart, hell yeah. Smash Brothers, hell yeah. Want that library job because I'm not really interested in anything else. But now I'm afraid I screwed up my chip. Uh, you'll be fine. I think in some way they'll appreciate your your persistence. Like damn, she's the one we want. I don't know, it just shows that you're, uh, that you are definitely interested, not just like putting in, you know, some sort of job application and just think of it as, you know, a position for income. They maybe, I don't know, think you're like, oh, it's actually quite interesting. Oh, crap. Did I even get us any point? I sure hope so. I mean... It's true, right? Because, like, how many people apply with the same application and everything to, like, I don't know, 20 different job places just to see who calls them back first? And maybe you did? I don't know, but to the employer, they don't know that. You follow up. They'll appreciate it. This kind of game, I could just vibe and relax, you know? Music's amazing. Gameplay's fun. Hey, what happened to my bird? Ooh, bonus. Oni, the deleted wiki guy. Oh! Did he provide you all the information? Or does he think you're a traitor?
I supposed to do here? Do I sneak behind? Oh, crap. Oh, thank God there's a freaking barrel there. Oh, I think I have to do this look. Process for inactive wikis, and he said, "I suppose I can com I can apply for a page ownership transferal on that." Couldn't remember which, or can remember much of what I have written. Didn't isn't there a way to reclaim what you wrote? That kind of sucks as a writer or a contributor if you just delete that. Remember, you showed me that screenshot where you can. They can do that, right? At least that's how they made it sound. How do you like my new hairdo, Dixie? I just had a new banana rinse. He was able to somehow get it. I want to throw his chonk butt over here. Dang, chonk. Bonk. I like to say, Josie said that they sounds like they say bonk. I kill the Kremlins. Oh, this is Kitty Kong. This is her cousin. Uh, in Donkey Kong Country 1, you played as Donkey and Diddy. In Donkey Kong Country 2, you played as Diddy, Dixie, which is a girl. And in this one, you play as Dixie and her cousin, Kitty Kong. K-I-D-D-I, -D -D -I, which is in my title. Because not a lot of people like him. I didn't like him when I was younger either. I was like, dang, I don't like the way he plays. Realistically, now that I'm playing him now, he plays pretty identical to Donkey. Which, in that game even, I played as Diddy to just to avoid playing as Donkey. So. And Dixie I always thought was the best because she can do her float. So I kind of put him in harm's way first. Just in case. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Are we banning him? Yeah, nobody really likes him too much. When he dies, he cries. He's just a little baby Kong. A little fat one. <gasps> no! Not what I wanted. So they all have like a certain ability or whatever. Not an ability, but like the way they move and maneuver. Um, Donkey 
pretty much plays exactly the way Kitty does in it. But you didn't play him in Donkey Kong Country. And neither in this game. He's just a big rolling Kong. Diddy was a lot more nimble. He goes faster. He has a faster acceleration rate for running speeds. At least that's what it seemed like. And his roll was really cool. He did like a little cartwheel and it actually shot him kind of far. Diddy or er, Pixie Kong. Hey, Nexus Shadows. <laughs> hey man, I appreciate that a lot. Um, we've actually been playing through the Donkey Kong series this entire week. Uh, we finished Donkey Kong Country 1 in 1 stream. DK, DKC 2 we finished in 2 streams. And then we started this one last time. We're going to keep on playing this one. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Thank you for following. But yeah, Dixie's my favorite because she can just float. It's, you know, in the fast pacedness of like a lot of platforming, it really helps when you just need to slow things down. So, she's probably actually a lot of people's favorite when it comes to the platform. Oh, I forgot you can't float again after you hit something. But yeah, Nexus, uh, when's the last time you played this game? Because before replaying the series this week, I had not played them for a good, like, it was a good chunk of time. Definitely closer to 10 years than not. But I enjoy it. The, the music is fantastic. Um, we're just gonna go down. Oh, that's where I got hit last time. Right there, I did a little float thing. That definitely helps a lot. Of I'm just gonna pretend I don't have a float because I think the float kind of messes me up when I'm anticipating I can just do it whenever. To be honest. Oh, except now. Yeah, I'm fish. <laughs> Dixie definitely helps you out in clutch situations. Like right here, I can float and then just wait for it. Otherwise, you have to like time it a little bit more straight. I got a barrel. Oh, it's over there. I'll try to get it. Hey, please respawn. Just in time for the ASMR, ASMR portion of the stream. <laughs> that was juicy. <laughs> I was pouring my drink. The steak special. <laughs> now the stream may begin. The stream never starts. 
Oh, Kid Streak says so. Alright, we're back to Swankies. Mistake. Raise to 25. How would you like your biddies cooked? Mistake. Try to see if I can get the was the race of 25. I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try and see if I can do it though. It's been a long time. How would you like your biddies cooked? Medium rare. Isn't that what it's always like? Isn't it interesting that in like cooking shows and stuff, that's like the desired cook, right? On meat is medium rare. It's not that, it's considered, like, overcooked and stuff. Alright, let me try to race to 25 here. Oh no, I missed the first one. Oh, easy, I got this. Oh, I missed the face. One. one more. No. Oh, I still won. <laughs> You've thought about it? Yeah, like I think the most rare I can go is medium. <laughs> you didn't give me that much either. Dang, whatever. I, I don't I don't think I can go medium rare. I think my girlfriend likes medium rare. Yeah, the medium rare one. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I can do it. Too squishy in my mouth. I don't know. Maybe I'll grow an acquired taste. Like at first, I didn't like the texture of sushi. Now I love sushi. Oh crap! It's okay. We have a barrel here. But at first, when I was thinking about sushi, uh, I would always get more of like the cooked kind of, you know, like the, the seared fish or like a little bit more cooked. What is it called? The tempura stuff? Like those are the stuff that I would go for. Um, always the raw stuff like the salmon or things like that. Always freaked me out because of the texture. And then one time I just kind of just went for it. Um, you know, a little bit more savory kind of you know, uh, sushi flavors and stuff that Anna would show me which ones are good and stuff. And it's definitely, you gotta know which ones are, like, flavorful or good. Because, yeah, the texture freaked me out when I would get the squishiness of it. But if it tastes good, fine. I think it's just the whole concept of you're eating something technically raw, right? It just freaked me out. freaked me out and then I had eel on the sushi and I was like ooh this is... like it wasn't like the eel was the delicious part but there was definitely I was experimenting more in terms of like what I wanted to eat and there's been some good stuff I've eaten Version to fishy smells to the point you're allergic to throw up. 
Okay, so that's kind of like me, right? Same thing with the fish smells, but only when the fish is cooking when it's fried. Oh my god, that's the most disgusting smell. Even to this day, when I smell fried fish in the indoors, like in home. Ugh, no way. But yeah, it's like fresh fish like in the fish market, that's interesting. I mean, it's not like entirely hard to believe or whatever. the damn water. Oh, we're not doing that? Oh, I thought that was the end. Never mind, we're not doing that bonus. Bonk. Sounds like the same bonk. Go to Horny Jet. on the way my parents talk about it. <laughs> hey, when you're younger and stuff, there's a lot of stuff that will gross you out. Smell-wise, taste-wise, things like that. Like, I remember when I was younger, I didn't like this, um, the taste of broccoli. And now, I mean, it's, it's alright. It's not my favorite, but I definitely think it could be flavorful in quite a few ways. But yeah, at first I spice. Broccoli's um, tasty. Oh, I gotta bounce it up there. Yeah. Ah, crap, I despawned the damn barrel. I hate that about these old school games. Oh no, that was an accident. I hate that. We're not tolerating that. Number. I don't know what you're talking about. You mean to tell me I was right at the end, and then I just did a dumb mistake of that, and I'm gonna do all that again? Wrong. Fish food frenzy? I'm talking about fish food. Go. Oh, oh, that's right. We got our fish buddy. He's gonna eat. Pick this up. Hey, hell yeah. We want him to eat. It's all big. Can we eat that? Oh, we have to feed him. If we don't, he gets uh, more red. Oh, then he attacks us. And that doesn't, that doesn't, that's not what he likes. He wants to eat. Yeah, eat that. Come on. Eat this fish too. Turn blue. Be happy. No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't, no. Oh, you leave him alone. Leave him alone. Eat this. Eat this fish. Come on. What an interesting level mechanic, huh? Having to feed him fish by getting close to him. Otherwise, he snaps at you. Yes, yeah, save one. This fish is hungry, exactly. Oh! You're gonna eat that one. You better eat this one too. Balance it out. 
Bounds meals in there. Delicious. <laughs> that sucker. Am I even going the right way? Good question. Hit that. No! Nope. Good, we got that. Eat this, please. Oh, damn it. Over here trying to feed him, getting purposefully close to fish. I should just be trying to avoid them. Oh, he munching over there. Yeah, it's no fish. Get out of here. Yeah, it gets more and more angry when it eats those spiky ones. It has more of a, like a upset stomach, or rather, it just <laughs> doesn't do it right. Like, it doesn't sit well with the stomach, and then it just does get angry. Hell yeah! Hey, Josie. Showdown. Squirt. Who's Squirt? Oh, this thing. <gasps> Boss fight. With an elephant. I, I do remember this boss fight, though. You just go around. Oh, Squirt. We're in the eye. Dang, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Not the eyes. Dang. Stop eating them. I know, right? The spiky deeds. This is TOS right here. I probably could have done two squirts per eye. <laughs> accidentally get water too far up their trunks and into their oh oh crap so their trunk is not their nose dropping this knowledge is it under the same like orifice or whatever is that even a um, <laughs> am i even speaking that correctly am i thinking about orifices Honestly, I thought it was this whole time kind of like a little bit of a cartoon thing. I didn't know it was real real. Until like not that long ago. I don't know if I want to be 
a squirting god, to be honest. Yay! They breathe smell through their trunk, so... Oh, okay. No, not the squirting god. No. 